Tourism has been the major funding source for conservation in Uganda. Definitely the impact of COVID took us to zero. Uganda Wildlife Authority didn't have to be funded from the consolidated funds, but when COVID happened, um, government had to come in and give them funding from consolidated funds. I might say that Uganda is not doing a lot to market um, the mountain gorillas, but I think there is a lot that is happening. And uh, one of the challenges that we are dealing with right now is actually the infrastructure. And uh, in the last you know, decade, we have seen a lot of development with the roads across the country. We have our own national carrier now, Uganda Airlines. So it's not just about saying, come, we have the mountain gorillas. The infrastructure needs to be in place for us to be able to really host the visitors who are coming comfortably. So as we work on developing the infrastructure, we are balancing out promoting the destination for people to come when we have the right um, product to offer them, which is not just raw. They need comfortable hotels, they need hygienic places to stay in, they need easy access to reach the different destinations. So that is all in the works and I believe that uh, as a country, Uganda, we are in the right path to be able to grow our tourism drastically in the next few years. Okay.